No, I don't. All right. How does Steven Stucker feel? Uh, you you are best known for your performance in Airplane. You have been in Airplane 2, the sequel. You're from Hollywood. How do I feel? Uh, I just feel a moment. <laughs> may I say? May I say? You you you. I know you. I know you. If you can find a laugh in this show, go for it. Okay, uh, we might as well. I will. But you have AIDS, Mr. Stucker. For six years. You you have AIDS for six years. Six and you, years. And you have it now. Uh huh. And I'll have it till the end of the century, and then I'll probably look really horrible. But I'll ring in the end of the century. You're here to say AIDS does not mean it's you not die. It's not fatal. It's not deadly. Uh, don't I look? Do, do I look fabulous? Excuse me. There are so many people out there. It's I so know, important to you to disagree with them. Really? There's so many. Do you know many friends I have that have had What's AIDS for five and six years? They're alive. Is the caller there? I'm an actress. I've been with the Screen Actors Guild for 12 years. And I'm really upset because I think that the Screen Actors Guild, our union, that we pay our dues to, should do something about this AIDS problem. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want them to do? The thing is, is okay... As, for, as an example, yesterday I was on a commercial audition, and every girl going in there had to drink from the same glass. Now, we, they have laws and rules in the union uh, protecting the actors with stunts, things of this nature. Yeah. There should be something yeah. that the union right. should how do you feel that. about How do you feel about the um, makeup people using the same, uh, what do you call that thing? Sponge. Sponge, you know. How do you feel about that? Well, that, you know, I, I never have really thought about that until the AIDS, the whole AIDS situation. Yeah, how about application, the lipstick applicators? You bet. Really? Yeah, you bet. bet. See, what? All the way, we should be protected. Everybody, man, woman, right. children, actors. Well, I mean, how far are we going to go here? We'll all be going to work in test tubes here. Is there a seal? Donna wants in here. Yes, ma'am. I think that, that everybody's trying so hard now in a matter of hopefully a year, let's say, we'll know exactly how the disease is communicated. Yeah. And then we'll, it's not going to be a witch hunt forever. You know, no, it's going to end. It's going to stop. This young woman's fear is, I think, evidence of some very real potential, ominous attitudes and subtle and not so subtle forms of discrimination that, that are going to... What's, that, the, what's this going to... I would want my lipstick brush clean whether AIDS existed or not. I mean, you know, I mean, those are things really? that are just common decency. Thank you. Obviously. Right. I can guarantee anybody on, in here on my life that you'll never get AIDS from me. You all make really? it. I do. You all make it sound like there's no danger at all. Aren't there any precautions we should take? Why are you so worried, hon? I mean, really. Stop worrying, period. And don't sleep around. That's something not to be worried about. Sir. Really, must be. Steven. <laughs> Steven. I'm sorry. Steven. Steven. A bright, insightful, creative, educated young man has certainly too much information and sensitivity to be that cavalier about this woman's attitude. This is not to excuse her attitude. Phil, it's a reason for the witch hunt, and they've been looking for a long time for the homosexuals. But I have a question. For the gentleman that does have AIDS, why does he have a white styrofoam cup where the other people are drinking out of a plain one? Because I got it from the coffee thing back there. I'm sorry, doll. You almost hit. Stephen. I'm sorry. Steven. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would like, I'll be I would, good. I would like an answer Let's from... Uh, Stephen, let this me make this personal observation. Uh, you're obviously, uh, you have all the credentials that, any, that, that you deserve as a fine and cre uh, a creative artist, as an actor. But I'm afraid I'm going to take some hits for... Paper. Falling on the floor is, at the very least, eccentric behavior. And I am eccentric. Uh, it's all right. And, and so am I in many ways. I, this, please don't misunderstand my point. But it, we could be accused of presenting someone who narrowly defines the homosexual community, and that's one of the problems, that's one of the yeah, roots yeah. of homophobia and I prejudice. Hear, hear, hear. Homos don't don't miss my know. point, Stephen. I don't want you to change. We love you just the way you are. Homo homosexuals score touchdowns. Homosexuals lift weights. Homosexuals... And, and, and the Pentagon. And uh, right, uh, work, right, and our, and, our, and our war heroes. So can we make that point... And we're glad you're here, Stephen, and I, we wouldn't have you behave in any other way. 